and welcome to the 10th episode of the Hawk Nest. I'm Riley Baldwin. And I'm Olivia Webb. The Hawks swim team competed in their first swim meet of the season this Saturday at the BISD Auditorium. Keegan Summers came in 6th place in the 50-yard freestyle and the 50-yard backstroke. Kylie Brandon came in 8th place in the 50-yard backstroke. Gwen Stone came in 6th place in the 50-yard breaststroke. And Julia Satchery came in 6th place, both in the 50-yard freestyle and the 100-yard backstroke. Juniors and seniors, you can take the SAT and ACT in the TSI on the counselors. You must register in the counselor's office between 7.15 and 7.15. And the funding is provided once per high school student. Sour Lake Chamber is hosting Christmas in the Park Saturday, December 14th. The Chamber is offering booth space free to high school groups if you are interested in this great fundraising opportunity. See Ms. Maxwell. There is also a lighted parade for the community. If your group wants to be in the parade, see Ms. Maxwell as well as you can also get with her if you have any questions. Girls basketball had a tough week against some stiff competition and boys basketball started Tuesday. Camden has more on that. This is Camden James with the Hawk Nest Sports. As y'all may know, Carmelo Anthony has recently left the Houston Rockets and due to that he has been a free agent since November 8th. But recently he had just signed with the Portland Trailblazers, so that should be something to look forward to. Also, D'Angelo Russell has sprained his thumb in a game against Boston Celtics last Friday, and due to that, the Golden State Warriors power forward Draymond Green will be starting as point guard. In Hawk News, boys JV and Varsity game has won their games 90-70 versus Hitchcock, and the girls JV and Varsity has won their game 65-55 versus Woodville. The boys varsity has also has a game this Friday versus Westbrook, so good luck to them. Both the boys and girls basketball JV teams get started with the tournaments today that last into the weekend. The boys varsity team will be in action three times before we return from Thanksgiving. Friday they will take on Westbrook and then again Monday at Vider before hosting Niederland on Tuesday. The girls' varsity squad will host a PA Memorial Monday in Houston Booker T, Washington on Tuesday. There will be a girls' soccer trial on December 3rd and 4th, and you must attend at least one of those trials to be considered. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Perellis. Seniors, if you did not take a Lamar class this semester but want to in the spring, you need to see Ms. McLeod for details. Thanksgiving is right around the corner before you know it that Thanksgiving turkey will be on your dinner table. Here's Keegan and Lexi to talk about the numerous traditions of Thanksgiving. Hello, this is Keegan Summers and Alexis Benoit with Thanksgiving traditions. Tradition number one, the wishbone. Now, I don't know why, but after every meal f a family finishes, they go and break the wishbone in half, and whoever gets the bigger side has to make a wish, and it comes true. Tradition number two, the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. Every year, Macy's will be in New York to give everyone a live broadcast of a spectacular parade. Although, you have to sit through about one or two hours of just people preparing and standing around for the broadcast to happen, and the broadcast people aren't really sure what to do. Um, then you get to see some pretty good helium balloons well, except for that one time. Tradition number three, football games. There will be three games on Thanksgiving Day. The Bears and Lions at 12.30 p.m., the Bills and the Cowboys at 4.30 p.m., and the Saints and the Falcons at 8.20 p.m. Tradition number four, having leftovers for the next week and a half. Now, Keegan is going to go into the halls to ask students what their favorite Thanksgiving tradition is. Do you have, does your family have any Thanksgiving traditions? Yes. What are they? Eating. Like, y'all break the wishbone or anything like that? No. No. How long do you have leftovers after? Day near a week. Um, our Thanksgiving tradition is to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for um, eating the most turkey in uh, one day and one sitting. So my Thanksgiving tradition is going to the Cowboys game. My Thanksgiving tradition is going to our deer lease every year and eating. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is going to the lake with my family and spending the week there. My family tradition is we all eat and then we sit around and watch football. This is Alexis Benoit interviewing Kylie Riley for Senior Spotlight. Kylie, where will you be going or what will you be doing after high school? I'm going to go to Lamar University for civil engineering. Ten years from now, when you think about high school, what's the first thing you'll think of? I'll think of all of my friends and family that supported me throughout the years. So you've been in show team for about three or four years. How has it changed your overall experience in high school? 
I'd say that it kind of made me a more responsible person because I have to wake up, I have to feed the steer, wash the steer, make sure he's prepared for the show, make sure that I'm prepared for the show. <laughs> and then I have to be like emotionally stable for when I have to let him go. Who's been your favorite teacher in high school so far? Ooh. Mm. I can't pick one. <laughs> Gotta pick one. Miss Thomas. <laughs> Lastly, describe your senior year in just three words. What the skip. <laughs> skip. Skip. Okay. <laughs> this is <laughs> nice. <laughs> this has been Alexis Benwell with Kylie Riley for Senior Spotlight. I'm Garrett Carney. And I'm Braden Clark. This is five tips on surviving Black Friday. Tip number one, sign up for emails. Decide which stores you will shop at this year. Visit each website and sign up for an email newsletter. It's important that you do this at least two weeks before Black Friday so you know what stores to go to and what deals they're having. Every item you want to be on sale. Tip three, avoid Walmart at all costs. Uh, while they typically have some of the best items for sale, it's a madhouse. Avoid Walmart at all costs. Tip number four, shop late. Retailers will keep the shoppers in the store all day long. Tip number five, with the number of people shopping, there will be instances where you're not going to be able to find the item you want. That means you're going to need a backup plan, so like a different store, maybe add a second item to your list. That's all. My, my name is Orlando Medina. Today I'm going to tell you about the weather report the, for this week and into next week. So for tomorrow, we're going to have a small chance of rain, and then on Friday, we're going to have an 80 or 90% coverage of showers, showers and thunderstorms with our next front. And then Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have drier weather. And then Monday, we're going to have a small chance of rain. And then Tuesday, we're going to have a 50 or 60 percent coverage of rain and thunderstorms with our next front and then Wednesday a small chance of rain and then for Thanksgiving on Thursday that we're going to have a small chance of rain also. I'm Ryan Powell here with Emery Russell. My name is Dakota Henderson with Casey Walker and this week we're asking Thanksgiving questions. Emery, what's the difference between stuffing and dressing? Um, dressing is what you put on top of the turkey, and stuffing is what you put inside of the turkey. And Casey, what is your favorite casserole? Uh, probably like the like broccoli like and cheese one with the broccoli and the cheese in it. Do you prefer ham or turkey? Turkey all the way. Is it called stuffing or dressing? Dressing. Do you call it dressing or stuffing? It's Stefan. With the first Thanksgiving celebrating. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite dessert on Thanksgiving Day? Um, turkey. Favorite dessert on Thanksgiving Day? Turkey. What? Called stuffing or dressing? It's definitely dressing. Wait, wait, for what? That's not it. What country won the very first FIA World Cup in 1930? A, Spain, B, Uruguay, C, England, or D, America?
Behind me is 2011 Dodge Ram 1500 single cab. It's got a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. It also has a 45 degree turn down exhaust. Makes a mean snarl. It's got a headache rack toolbox in the back to keep stray objects from hitting out the back glass. This right here is a 2010 F-150 with a V8 um, Triton in it with a 5.4 liter. It has a 6 inch lift on it and it has K2 off-road wheels on it and it has um, Terra grippers for tires. What country won the very first FIFA World Cup in 1930? The answer is B, Uruguay. Hello, I'm Casey Walker, and welcome to the 2019 edition of Dad Jokes. Here we got Colin Liskey and Colin Pomerko, and they will be telling five dad jokes, and out of those five, whoever laughs the most loses. Let's get into it. What concert costs just 45 cents? 50 Cent featuring Nickelback. <laughs> Where do you go in Fayetteville, Arkansas, in case of a tornado? To Razorback Stadium, because there's no touchdowns there. What happened to the farmer when it became spring? He wet his plants. <laughs> what do you call a fish with two knees? A toonie fish. <laughs> What's brown and sticky? A stick. How many apples grow on a tree? All of them. <laughs> what do you call something with no hair? A huge head and little talent. Brighton Marco's shadow. What happens when you go to the bathroom in France? European. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call someone? What do you call someone? <laughs> What do you call someone with no body and no nose? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. Our word of the week is feast, which means a very large meal. That's all for today, and remember, it's a, it's great, a great day, day to, to be, be a hawk. hawk.